this is a short tribute to two individuals that had a particular input or inspiration into the chord material that I'm about to present in videos. And these were Tom Giacobetti and Dennis Sandoli, and they were both teachers of mine. And for the for both of them, just to explain who they are, uh, Tom Giacobetti is a guitarist. And uh, he's from uh, Stratford in New Jersey. And I had studied with Tom from 1987 to 1990, I believe, as an undergraduate at Temple University. Um, an amazing player. And I was very fortunate to have the opportunity to study with him. And he was always very good to me in terms of supporting me as a student, but also helped me with my professional career as well. And... Um, you know, we stayed in touch. Unfortunately, he's passed on uh, far too early. But I remember during some of the sessions that we had, some of the lessons where he would write out some suggestions for different string groups to do chord melody assignments and things like that on. And I remember that was the first time I started to really investigate that. And um, that was kind of important for me. I, I sort of left it on the shelf after a while. But that would have informed some of the things that I had done uh, you know, later on that I would come to really rely on later on in terms of chords. So he was kind of one of the first people to suggest some unusual groupings and things of that nature for chords. And I just sort of ran with it from there. I mean, before then, I had, I had the George Van Epps books when I was uh, younger, so I had sort of dabbled in it, but... When I was with Tom in the in the late 80s, I think, was the first time where I really started to investigate the, that sort of thinking. And the other person is Dennis Sandoli. And when I was studying with Dennis, I remember I pulled those things back out. I would have to do voicing assignments for each week, you know, for all of the weeks. I had studied for 10 years with him, and every week it, there were voicing assignments, compositional assignments. So I brought that kind of thinking back out and really expanded it and tried to figure out all the possibilities. So each week, <clears throat> all of the chord assignments that I had would feature those things. And they're in my book, too, uh, the Nova Musica Compendium, which is uh, a collection of scans of my extracurricular activities that I did with, with Dennis so they would have a lot of that material probably in there in some form or another. So those are the two individuals. And I remember Dennis in particular told me he just, the reason I'm just calling this a chord book is Dennis would say uh, he wanted me to write a chord book. And of course, I never got around to it. I did everything but the chord book. And I remember he said to me, he said, you know, how every week, how's my chord book coming along? You know, so it just sort of stuck with me. So this will just be called The Chord Book. So this series of videos will be that book. So instead of doing it in ink, you, there'll be a series of videos. And uh, again, those two individuals, if you're, and if you're not familiar with Tom Giacobetti's playing, there should be some things on YouTube. He's just a brilliant player. It's a very sensitive player. Uh, just a great ear. I mean, I can't say enough about how, uh, what a hard working player he was, but what a natural too. It just seemed like he was kind of naturally meant to play the instrument. And Dennis was of course a, a brilliant man and, and very encouraging too. And he's known, I've done some academic papers on him and he's known for having mentored John Coltrane and Jim Hall and James Moody and so many other musicians, brilliant jazz artists. So those two are sort of the foundation and uh, for what's to come. And uh, we're very encouraging with the material. And uh, that's my tribute to both of those people.